Ah, Pac-Man. You know, recently he just had his 40th anniversary, and needless to say, it was pretty lackluster. But my gripes concerning Namco will have to wait for another video. Fans of Pac-Man will no doubt remember Championship Edition when it released way back in 2007 on the Xbox Live Arcade. It was a simple yet groundbreaking take for Pac-Man, putting him essentially back in his roots of what made him so good. Later in 2010, we got Championship Edition Deluxe, which added new maze, music, and modes to make it the definitive version. Then, in 2016, Championship Edition 2 was released and took the existing formula and cranked it to 11 by making an even better soundtrack, even faster, and more mazes to play with. Then in 2018, Championship Edition 2 Plus was announced, exclusively for the Nintendo Switch this time. This version contains the original Championship Edition 2 in its entirety and has a whole new two-player co-op mode, with so basically only like 20% new content. Then finally, in 2020, we got a new Championship Edition game, this time in the Namco Collection. To briefly summarize how this game came to be, uh, as there's not a ton of information on it, there was an anonymous user by the name Coke74. They uploaded a video years ago showing off a Pac-Man fan game that could run on the Famicom. Years later, M2, the same guys responsible for some really good ports like the Sega 3D Classics on the 3DS and the current uh, Sega Classic games on the Nintendo eShop, they somehow got in touch with this person to make it official under Namco on the 3DS. But unfortunately, it was put on hold for about five years. Now, finally in 2020, it is finally released, but in the collection. So, what can I note about this collection? Well, this collection contains 11 games, but I literally only bought it for the one game that matters. Like, why would I play inferior NES games when their arcade counterparts are right there? From the outset, you're greeted with the name of the game and a brief little cutscene of Pac-Man running away from the monsters. Continuing on, we're greeted with three choices. Normal mode, extra mode, and options. Hopping into normal mode, it's like previous championship games. You start off slow and everything is silent, but then the music starts to kick in, and you'll notice above you get a set time limit and you're tasked with eating as much as you can within that time. Extra mode is somewhat like a hard mode but you have an entirely new maze layout and start at close to full speed with less lives and time. Some of the small details I really appreciate are even options actually. Looking at the options, we get the usual stuff, you know, sound test and whatnot. But one small surprise is the achievements. These aren't only for bragging rights if you get them all. You actually get a special bonus skin for beating them all. That's right. On top of the base game, there are four different unique skins. They have the original, this cool outlined one, this very cool neon one I personally like, and the completion bonus, the Pac-Man Arrangement skin, that gives it a, a sort of a fake 3D look, which I really appreciate. Overall, it's a pretty fun game in my book, and you know what makes it extra special? Well, apparently those in the PC community have taken the ROM of the game and discovered that it runs on actual hardware. Let that sink in for a moment. This, a game of this intense caliber, can actually run on real NES hardware. And the only minor modification you would have to make is actually in the audio section, as the ROM utilizes sounds that the NES can't naturally produce. I'll have some links to these videos below, as they're absolutely fantastic and good luck trying to keep your NES controller in one piece if you actually try to play this. So, after taking a brief look at this game, what are my thoughts? Well, it's definitely a faithful de-creation of an otherwise fantastic game. I'm not too fond of the price of it being in a compilation, you know, but that's more of a Namco problem than an M2 problem. If you're a hardcore fan of all things Pac-Man, I would say definitely give it a go. Otherwise, wait for a sale because 20 bucks is pretty steep for some NES games. Well everyone, that's my quick review for Pac-Man Championship Edition, the D-Make. 
Hope you've all liked it. If you have a chance, please subscribe or follow the channel. And as always, I'll see you next time.